Hello Wolfpack, we're going to be talking about the macro picture, the macro trends for Bitcoin uh, and what they imply is going to be happening for Bitcoin in relation to the bottom of the bull market, the bear market, sorry, uh, and what happens in relation to the top of the bull markets as well, how long the market cycles go for and when, the big question, when will the bottom be? Okay, now there's multiple different ways you can answer this question. A lot of which would not be based off of this chart. I mean, yesterday I had a scenario in which the bottom would come sometime in, uh, you know, probably around June or July, uh, but this chart would suggest something different. This chart suggests that the bottom on Bitcoin will be coming in late November. I've talked about this before. I haven't talked about it to the same extent of which I'm going to talk about it today. I've made a video on it before, but I've added in some new charts and I've colorized it to make it a bit more easy to see. Uh, and my last video I made, this was probably two months ago, so it's worth an update now uh, for the rest of my audience that has joined since then. So let's take a look at it. Okay, so right now, the first thing I want to do, okay, and, and before before I get into this, even before I get into this, I want to say that a lot of people wouldn't think that uh, measuring time periods between cycle and cycle and cycle is, is very accurate. But this is generally speaking based off the four-year cycle theory. A lot of people would think, and, and the vast majority of people, I think, would think that the four-year cycle theory was invalidated in 2021. This video is going to prove that not to be the case at all. Okay, so first and foremost, we have these blue lines here at the top. This is measuring from a top of 2013 to the top of 2017. We had 1,400 days, okay? So that's fine. From the top of 2017 to the top of 2021, we again had 1,400 days, okay? That could be a coincidence. So let's see something else. From the bottom of 2015 to the bottom of 2018, we had 1,400 days. Okay, now it's becoming a little bit of a trend. And from the bottom of 2018 to the suspected bottom of 2022, uh, which would be November 28, it would be around, around 1,400 again. So we have three distinctive data points there. Uh, and as you guys would know, three data points is needed to form a trend. So that is a valid trend. 1,400 days until the bottom uh, would be expected from the last bottom. That would take us to November this year. Okay, so that's that's the evidence for the bottom happening in November. Now, looking at it a bit further, we can see there's more evidence. Look at these green uh, rectangles here, these green measurements. Okay, so from bottom 2015 to top 2018, there was 1,064 days exactly. From bottom 2018 to top 2021, Again, 1,064 days exactly, okay? That is not a coincidence. So now we have one, two, three, four, five different data points, all of which forming a very strong trend, all of which suggesting that the bottom will be in November 2022. That's pretty compelling. If we wanted to extra extrapolate this data even further, we could add 1,064 days to the suspected bottom. Again, this is getting a little bit iffy here, but... And that would say that the next bull market top is going to be in October 2025. Now we can ask the question, well, does this add up from top to bottom? And these yellow rectangles are asking that question. And this is where it gets a little bit more rough, but it still makes a pretty good case. Okay, so from the 2013 top to the bottom of that bear market, it took 413 days. All right, and then from the 2018 top to the bottom of that bear market, it took around... Uh, 371 days, okay? And now, from the top of 2021 to the bottom of 2022, suspected bottom of 2022, it would be 378, okay? So look, 413, 371, 378. All of those dates are basically almost within a month of each other, okay? So now we have eight different data points, all connected to some extent, okay? Three different sets within those data points, three different categories, all suggesting that the bottom will be in November 2022 to some extent. Now, some of them suggest it more firmly than others, but some of them, all of them have a case to make within that prediction, okay? And then on top of that, so now that we've established that, hey, the most likely bottom for Bitcoin according to, the, according, this is important, according to the macro picture, according to the four-year cycle, is November 2022, late November, maybe even early December, we have to ask, where will that be? Well, historically, the lowest point Bitcoin has ever gone. If the 200 extended back here, it would be as well. So that's one, two, three, four, five separate times the lowest Bitcoin has ever gone. It's never closed below this line is the 200 week SMA. Where would the 200 week SMA be in November? The 200 week SMA is this green line. All we need to do to find that out, well, we can make a rough estimate. It's kind of hard to predict this precisely, but we can probably suspect it's going to trend downwards a little bit. By that point, it will be at around 24,000 USD. 
Is 24,000 USD a major resistance zone, support zone? Yes, it is. If you flipped over to the daily chart, 24,000 USD is a point in which there is buying and selling contention during the run-up in 2020. So that is the prediction for Bitcoin according to the macro picture, according to the four-year cycle. And I hope this video informed you of that. So November 2022, around 24K. I've been saying this for a long time now, but this chart I haven't looked at for a while. And so it's good to keep you guys updated on the situation. This is the four-year cycle. The four-year cycle is very clearly very much still in play. I don't see any evidence of a lengthening cycle of any kind here. Okay, I can see evidence of the actual bull market itself lengthening, but I don't see evidence of the entire cycle, bull market and bear market included lengthening. It's just not happening. I mean, all we need to do is look at the numbers here, right? 1,064 days from bottom to top, 1,064 days from bottom to top, 1,400 from top to top, 1,400 from top to top, 1,400 to bottom to bottom, and then 1,400 from bottom to suspected bottom. And then with those yellow rectangles in between, it's it's pretty obvious that a lengthening cycles theory is not playing out yet. Maybe it is from the halving, but certainly not from top to top and bottom to bottom. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something about it. This is a very interesting chart. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, and I'll catch you in the next one.